Hello, everybody. Bill Thornton, SoCal Saber here. How you all doing today? Well, it's been a while since I did an unboxing. I got a couple games that have come in recently, so I want to figure I better get one out before they get too old because they're relatively new games. So let's go down to the table and see what I got. The game is The Hill of Death, Champion Hill, published by Tiny Battle Publishing. It's a, it's a, it's up here. It's a new series called a Shattered Union series game. And uh, so let's get the, the shrink rack off and looking at the back. Okay. Says, heavily influenced by his popular I Must Fearful Sacrifice, Herman Lettman's Shattered Union series is a new line of Civil War war games designed to be accessible to gamers of any experience level. The series aims to provide not only playable war game experience in about three hours, but also to produce a realistic simulation of 19th century battlefield. The Hill of Death is the first <coughs> module in the Shattered Union series. The game covers the entire battle of Champion Hill. This Critical engagement was fought just outside of Pittsburgh, Mississippi on May 16, 1863, between the Union Army of the Tennessee under Major General Ulysses S. Grant and the Confederate Army of Vicksburg under Lieutenant General John C. Pemberton. Now, I understand that this is this series is going to, from what I understand, is going to be uh, high, highlighting battles that have not received a lot of following for lack of words. We got a 122 by 17 inch map, 252 counters, 45 cards, two player aids, one series rule book. So this is going to be for the series and one game module rule book. Five six-sided dice, red, white, black, blue, and gray. Interesting. So it's number of players two, ages nine and up, playing time two hours, designed by Herman Lutman and art by Jose R. Fura, Fara. I'm sorry if I mispronounce your name there. Okay, so let's get going. Get this baby opened. As you guys know that I have a lot of different war games, but Civil War is my uh, my main interest. All right, I got a little way. It says, uh, thank you for your purchase. This was this order was assembled by. Just one rack. Check our... <clears throat> Customer service, please contact us at this email if you have any issues with the order. Okay. Here are the dice. All D6s. I think they look like they're all D6s. Yeah. And to check that couple that were on the other side. So we've got five different colored dice. This is going to be interesting as to what we use the five different dice for, huh? Okay. And then we got counters inside of a plastic bag. I can see why, because they're already popping out. <laughs> That's kind of nice. They're not all over the box anyway. Come on, we'll get this damn bag open, Bill. There we go. Excuse the language, folks. Oh, boy. Let's see what I can do here. These are, these are some admin counters, shaken, locations, and most of the orange or yellow orange ones are yellow shaken markers. And then on the back, they're disrupted. So that probably when you flip it over, it's disrupted, of course, it's going to be more penalty to them. Throw these ones that are loose back in the bag so I don't get them falling on the floor here. Okay, then we got the, the units. Very nice art. And we got these are look like the chit pulls, fortunes of war, general casualties, general casualties, general casualties. Uh, Maybe not a chip pull, but we'll find out when I start learning the game. Uh, Herman Lutman has been done a bunch of a series of games on with chip pull, so don't want to be surprised. Here's another loose 
shaken marker in the bag. And then we got what I imagine <laughs> falling out of here. It's the Confederates. We've got VP location markers, and then it says end of game. So I guess if you capture that uh, spot, it's going to be the end of the game. All right, let's get this these loose ones back in the bag. I really appreciate that they did this, putting them back in the bag. Oh, okay. So what got else in here? We've got to have some more stuff in there before we get to the map in the temple. Yeah. Okay, we got a uh, nice colorful combat result tables. Kind of looks like the same from a, a most fearful sacrifice and whatever that game was prior to that. I got so many of these uh, in this different series is by Herman. Weapon ranges, ammunition problems, uh, close combat, cohesion tables, combat fire cohesion tables, defensive fire results and close combat advantages. Okay. It'd be nice if I can figure out what I want to do with that one. <clears throat> then we got uh, the Shattered Series rule book. It's probably pretty lengthy. Let's see what we got going here. Okay. Double column. Got a nice index here. I hope it's a nice index. It covers the components. This is for the series. I guess it's going to be covering future games. What other series does that? The Blind Sword series does this too. Or is it an overall? The yellows a lot are, are notes or examples or notes as about the game. I always like when they have them. Helps me figure things out. Close combat stuff. And then we got some big close combat example over here. Look at it, it's not too bad. Last page is 15, mm -hmm. uh, 15 pages. Let's see if that counts as the cover. Yeah, the two, three, start the uh, game components are on three. And mm -hmm. it looks like the real sequence of play and the rolls are going to start really start on four. And so it's not too bad for length, 11 pages. I'm liking that too. And here's the, uh, yeah. the Hill of Death rule book. And on the back, we got another uh, combat results table. I might copy the, make a copy of this one on cardstock, and it'll be a little bit more easy to uh, handle than the big one. I'm afraid that big one, if I keep bending it, it might split on me, and I don't want that to happen either. Okay, same thing, double-sided. Got some colorful colors about the, the components. <clears throat> Not a lot of uh, text in here. I mean... Uh, notes since that so far and just as i say that we got a big one on the top left vp talks about the vp locations current current game turn eight okay i think this is this probably this tells you what your setup's going to be and what units are in yeah yeah Start down here. It's got all of the Union units and the Confederate units. Don't look like it's going to be too counterfeit heavy. <clears throat> all right. Let us uh, let me say I get the map out here. Let me pause for just a second. I'll get the map. We'll take a look at the map and then the cards. Okay. Champion Hill. Here's your, the turn tracker up here on the left. That looks like that's about it. Um, I like this uh, map. Here's Champion Hill right here. Get the roads coming in. You know what I didn't see was a terrain effects table. I probably passed it up. Let me look on the back of this book and see if it was on there. 
No, I didn't see it. Don't see it here. Hmm. All right. I'll figure that out. All right. And the map goes all the way down here to this end. So not gigantic size map. I probably will play this one without even plexiglass on it. I think. Okay. Well, let's take a look at these. Uh, oh, these are activation cards. So this is like a chip pull system, but using cards like he did in a most fearful sacrifice. This is what my guess is. All right, come on, Bill. All right, let me bring the camera down there a little bit more. Okay, yeah, it's an activate one, you get this one, activate one brigade. You can defend one MP movement, or if you do a defend, one not may not engage, may fire combat, may not close combat. So they're all going to be different. And they're going to be active one. This is going to be a maneuver. That's just a move. He can't fire at all in that one. Then we got an attacks. And as you can see, it's by the different. Let me see. No, it's under Stevenson. You can activate anyone. No, we got Pemberton. This is a CIC activation ship. He's a the uh, main man. It says activate any one brigade from Stevenson's first or Bowen's. Uh, maybe let's start. So I don't division with any order. Loring's long range division may not be activated. Okay, so you can activate when you got this. You can activate. Uh, we're going to say <clears throat> this one from Stevenson's division that maybe he activated this division number one. And you're only supposed to get an activation once. He, with this card here, he can activate that same division again. Blind furry holes. Yeah, these are uh, like blind cotton chit draws. Okay, and these are, boy, a lot of Confederate cards here. Okay, and then there's the Friction Award. He's played Havoc with you. <clears throat> Fog of War, this gets a little bit crazy too. And we got Grant. There's his CIC Commander in Chief activation card. Yeah. Hot headed rebels. <laughs> and here's McPherson's units. McClernand. New name for me. Inspirational leadership, harassing fire. We got some more. Another grant. Oh, two grant. Grant A and Grant B. I have to check that. That could be the if he's injured. Yeah. All right. I see a lot of similarities in Herman's work because I do have the blind sword system, and then I have. A Devil's Toupee, which is the next system. And then I had a Most Fearful Sacrifice, which is the next system. Now I have this system going. So, But I enjoy his work. And so, I hope you enjoyed this, taking a look at this one. This was The Hill of Death, Champion Hill, published by Tiny, Tiny Battle Publishing, Herman Lutman Design. Hit that like button. Push this one out. This is a relatively new one to the market, so let's get it some more advertising. Push it out in your social media channels. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Leave me some remarks to help my channel grow. So, until you see or hear from me again, so Cal Saber saying take care of yourselves, be kind to each other, and stay safe.